My name is Saadi and I've been in the One Word business for the last 13 years and currently I'm leading the business development group for the information management software as a service. And with that in the market, a lot of the concern was around cybersecurity. So I just took it upon myself to find out as much as I could about what would be the right thing to do and the right investments to make around cybersecurity so that both we and our customers would feel safe about going with a cloud-based solution. And that's essentially how I turned my interest into cybersecurity. The top three things that come to mind when I think about cybersecurity are the security of the data itself. And the first thing you can do to solve that problem is to encrypt the data when transmitting it from your data sources to the cloud service providers resources. The second thing that I can think of is to make sure that you are very careful with the privileges that you give to people that have access to the data. You should always be working on a concept of what's called least privilege. Least privilege simply means that everyone has a job to do and everyone should have the rights and permissions to do that job in their role, but no more. And then the third thing that I would say is cybersecurity, in order for it to work really end to end, you have to have a strong chain of trust, if you will. And if any one part of the solution is weak, then that affects the integrity or that affects the trust that you can have holistically from end to end. So even if you use technology in all the right places, make sure that you're also leveraging and thinking about cybersecurity from even physically getting in and out of the plant or physically who has access to devices that can get access to the data and that you're also training your staff and your personnel to think about managing what they have access to and what they're communicating to people in a secure way so that holistically everything is secure. The other key concept that I would look to is making sure that whatever protocols or instrumentation or devices that you're using or technologies really look to make sure that those things are easily understandable, that they're not proprietary, they're not black box, that they're based on open technologies that have been proven and validated and even scrutinized in the market so that you always have the most benefit from anything you know, having to go wrong, it can be immediately addressed by the millions of other people that are using it with you. And also because it's a standards base, it limits your risk in investing in a certain technology and then having that change quickly the next day. HMI SCADA systems will continue to evolve to be more interactive with us, the human beings that are interacting with that technology, but also start becoming interactive with other systems, so machine-to-machine -machine interactions, and also be able to offer more value-added services, such as being able to not only understand or reflect what is currently going on, but what is about to happen, and to be able to proactively make recommendations based on its environment to really uh, drive better and more effective decision-making by the actual human beings. The challenge has always been how to balance the need for cybersecurity, but also without compromising on the simplicity or ease of use of whatever solution that you're trying to secure. Often those things are at odds with each other. And I think soon, uh, especially with the introduction or you know, challenging ways of using ourselves, like our fingerprints or uh, facial recognition or voice recognition, these are all just attempts at saying, how can I take something that is sort of naturally a part of us or our daily lives and just very easily use that to authenticate yourself so that the experience is fluid.